Okay, Vince, what's the surprise? Well, you have been waiting long enough. I've forgotten something. Can you wait here a sec? I'll be right back, honey. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Someone asked me to give this to you. Oh, thanks. Vincent. Hello, honey. So this is the birthday surprise you had planned. Okay, I'm coming. Vince? Who the hell were you with last night? Last night I was, I was with you. Stop to lying to me! I came back and you were gone. I looked for you all night. This is the last chance for you to tell me the truth. Where were you? No way, last night we... What were you doing last night, you traitor? Vincent, calm down, you're going to hurt her. Jesus, what's going on here? Ask her. <gasps> We're through. God, Dad, calm down. Dad, I swear, I didn't know that man last night wasn't Vincent. Clearly, I was set up. You ruined your relationship with Vincent. Do you have any idea how bad that is? This is going to affect my business with the Thompsons. I just lost my lifetime happiness, and all you care about is our business deal? Patty, don't be so hard on Scarlett. I mean, she is your daughter, after all. Enough. No more disgracing our family. Scarlett, call and pack your bags. Dad, what do you mean? Don't call me dad. Our father-daughter relationship is over. Here, and don't come back till I tell you so. Callie, please talk to dad and ask him to reconsider. He always listens to you the most. Dad, it's furious right now. I think it's best that you just go abroad for a while, you know, just until he cools down. I mean, he'll definitely change his mind. You'd probably better get going. Oh, Scarlet, I forgot to tell you something. I set you up, slut. What are you talking about, Kelly? Oh, I slipped something into a stranger's drink at the bar and then I stole his room key and then I bribed a waitress to give it to you. I mean, like, it was all way too easy. <laughs> Did you like that little pre-wedding gift? How could you do this to me? Because I liked Vincent. And you are such a pain in my ass. Dylan, what have I told you? You can't wander around in places you don't know. But Mommy, isn't here home? Here isn't my home anymore. You're my family now. Wherever you are, that's my home. Are we going to see Daddy this time? Then we'll be a real family. Only if I know who he is. Hey. Hey. You can't just cut in line. We've been waiting here forever. How much have you let me have this cab? What? 500, 1,000. Are you kidding me? 2,000. Here. It should be worth your trouble. What the hell? Let me go. How dare you? Is he my daddy? Dylan, what are you doing? Get in the car. Bye, daddy. Interesting. Matt, you've got three minutes. I want all the information you can find about that woman. Yes, sir. Let's follow that cab.
Why did you bring him here? Dylan is my son. Of course he'll be with me. Right, Dad. That is your grandson. You can't uh, be too picky. I would never admit this bastard to be my grandson. How can you say that? If you weren't going to accept us, why would you call us here? Well, it's Caroline's and Vincent engagement party this weekend. And I'm announcing Caroline to be the Cooper's heir. And I think you need to be there. But not this boy. Well then, next time something like this happens, I don't want you contacting me. Come on, Dylan, let's go. Okay, soldier, I know a pretty good place along here. You wanna go try? Scarlett Cooper, 30 years old, the eldest daughter of the Cooper family. She was exiled by her father eight years ago over a scandal. She now works overseas as a moderately famous fashion designer. What did you say about the scandal eight years ago? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, info says she was exiled over something that happened at Vincent Thomas's wedding. She's been abroad ever since. There is something so familiar about her. Hmm. What, sir? Nothing. No. Thank you. Mummy, can I order a hamburger, please? No, you had beef this morning, remember? How about a big, juicy, yummy turkey breast? Oh, shoot, I forgot to exchange money. Sorry, honey, this is all mummy has. That's okay. There she is. The woman who snatched my cab. The nice ice cream lady gave me too. Oh, that's sweet. Did you remember to say thank you? Never mind. You dropped your ring. Did you steal it, you little brat? No, I didn't. Vincent, how could you say that? He's innocent. That little <coughs> brat knows in his heart whether he did it or not. Scarlet, bringing this stealing little brat everywhere, you should be embarrassed. Say that word again, I swear. Did I say something wrong? He's a filthy little bastard. Are you out of your goddamn mind? I warned you, you deserved it. Ah! Oh, that little bastard biting and barking like a rabid dog. What kind of parents raise a child like that? Don't blame the kid, Caroline. He was raised without a father. No wonder he's got no manners. Hey, honey. Did I miss anything? Hey, honey. Everything okay? Daddy! I was, uh, I'm sorry about that NBC reporter. You know, they always ask me for an interview. Uh, didn't miss anything, though? <sighs> no, honey. Um, they were just asking if we had any spare change for the bus fare. You don't happen to have any, do you? No, I'm afraid not, darling. I do have a new Porsche Panamera. I could give them a ride in if they like. Come on. Thank you, sir. I only helped you because I don't like seeing a child mistreated like that. You let your hungry boy only eat ice cream. What kind of mother are you? His words cut deeper than Caroline and Vincent's. How could he say that in front of my child? And where's the father? He left you all alone with a mother like you. This is how you repay the person who just saved you and your son. We're grateful for what you did for us. But you have no right to dictate the way a mother. Let's go, Dylan.
Luckily, I still have one last refuge in this world. Hi, Auntie Evelyn. You, this must be Dylan. Welcome home, sweetheart. Come on in. Thank you for all this. Honey, I'm your auntie. We're family and we support each other. There's no need for thanks. I heard Caroline and Vincent are getting engaged this weekend. I don't want to go. I just, I want to cut off all contact with them. Scarlett, the best revenge is living well, for that goes against their wishes. Now, open the box and give them a sight to behold. May I have your invitation, please, ma'am? What? What invitation? Sorry, ma'am. No invitation, no entry. Look, I didn't even want to be here. Your host is the one who invited me. If he doesn't see me here tonight, he'll for sure come find you later and there will be drama. Rules are rules, ma'am. You can't get in without invite. Daddy! Hi. Wow, I didn't expect to see you here. I'm invited. We are too. My son's really been looking forward to this. But I can't believe I was so careless to forget our invitations. You couldn't help us out, could you? Of course I can. Yes! But I want you to beg me to help you. Up to you. Fine. Please, Mr... Nathan Wright. Mr. Wright, would you be so kind and generous as to let us in? Okay. But I'm only doing this for the kid. Of course. Too shameless. There with me. Are you gonna let us in or not? Of course, Miss Rye. Please enjoy. I heard that Galaxy Net Media's CEO Nathan Wright is in town. I asked someone to send him an invite. Do you think he'd come? Nathan Wright? Hmm. I've never known him to attend any private events before. What makes you think an Ice King wants to come to our little engagement party? I mean, think about it. If he shows up here today, everyone's going to look up to us from now on. Mm. <laughs> oh, that bitch! Well, well, Scarlet. I didn't expect to see your face here. And didn't Dad tell you not to bring this bastard here? Oh, this party is just as gross and depressing as you are. So I had to drag some people along that don't make me want to puke every time I look at them. Uh, and what are you laughing at? My apologies, I just... I've never been to such a low-level banquet before, I couldn't help it. Part of my rudeness. Excuse me. This dress that I'm wearing today is a one-of-a-kind, custom-made designer gown made for me in Italy. Sis, if you were, like, so hard up for clothes, you could have just borrowed from me. What I have is better than the gaudy, outdated thing you're wearing. Wow. What's under that cloak that you don't dare reveal? Something even more hideous, I bet. Oops, did it meet your expectations? Oh. oh my god, I'm so sorry. I will get some t-shirts for you. Oh, sis, are you okay? Here, let me help you with that. <laughs> Stop bullying my mum. My one-of-a-kind designer heals us. You little bastard, get out of here. Vincent, bastard. Vincent, stop it. Let him go. Vincent, don't blame the kid. I mean, his mother is Scarlet, the woman who fooled around right before her wedding. Elisa, kid. <gasps> who the hell do you think you are? Why should I listen to you? Like I said before, I'm his father. <sighs> well, get lost. Or I'll kick you out as well. What's going on here? 
Daddy, it's Scarlett. Yeah, I mean, she... Enough. Can't you see we've got an esteemed guest here? Don't disturb Mr. Miller. Scarlett, this is Mr. Miller. He's CEO of Starfield's largest oil field in the state, an important business partner. Nice to meet you, Mr. Miller. Nice to meet you, Scarlett. You are undeniably gorgeous, sweetheart. Thank you. Look at you two. I knew you would make a perfect match. Oh, Scarlett, watch it. Take care, Logan. Scarlett, sweetheart, have a room upstairs. Why don't we grab some coffee? I'd really like to get to know you better. Of course, Mr. Miller. Scarlett, come. Of course, Mr. Miller. Scarlett, come. Absolutely, Mr. Miller, as long as it's okay with my husband and my son. I'm afraid not, darling. I tend to be the jealous type. As you heard, my husband is not happy about it. I'm afraid I will have to decline your offer. Mr. Miller, I can explain. This kid is not her son. He's just some unimportant little bastard. No, Dad. Dylan is my son. My only son. And my son that I will love forever. Logan Cooper, how fucking dare you make a fool of me? I can explain. I can explain. Really, these are just actors he hired. You have to believe me. Fuck off, Logan. Pay your own damn debts. Scarlet, you embarrass me over and over. I can't take it anymore. Do you want to rebel? Security, throw them out. Scarlet, go and apologize to Mr. Miller now. Dad, are you out of your mind? Let me go. Mr. Wright, shall I send someone to clean up this mess? Mm -hmm. did, did, you just, did you just say Mr. Wright? Who are you really? This is Mr. Nathan Wright, currently ranks 10th on the Forbes 30 under 30 list, the CEO of Galaxy Net Media Group and Miss Scarlett Cooper's husband. Mr. Cooper, my wife is there as a courtesy to your sister's engagement. Instead of thanking her, you insult her and me by sending her to another man's room in front of my son. Care to explain? Mr. Wright? Nathan. Nathan, look, there must be a big mistake. Uh, Scarlett never told us she was married, and we never knew the child was yours. You have to believe me. I mean, it's impossible. He can't be the man from that night. <laughs> What's wrong? Things not going according to your evil schemes. Uh, yeah. uh, Are you dumb? Them. Tell them how you framed me. Destroyed my perfect life? Come on, spit it out! Honey? What does she mean by that? Nothing. She's just jealous of us and raging like a lunatic. Vincent, I don't really feel well. I need to go. Are you okay? Nathan, my dear son-in-law, I'm glad Scarlett's got really good taste. You two look like a match made in heaven. Look, it was all a big misunderstanding. Sorry for not getting things right with Mr. Miller tonight. No hard feelings, I hope. It was your mistake, and I cannot stand to see you treat my family this way. Honey, I think we should leave. Clean off the filth that brought. Let's go. I don't like these people. Let's not meet them next time, okay? Definitely. I promise, sweetheart, we don't have to deal with these weirdos anymore. Let's go. Nathan, won't you reconsidering partnering with us, hey? Do you want me to call room service, get your new robe? No, that's okay. Do you have a shirt? Do you mind? Sorry. Okay, you can turn around now. Two, Do you like it? Three.
What did they mean about you fooling around before your wedding eight years ago? Nathan, what are you doing? Let Answer my question! Does he think I'm an easy girl because of what Caroline said? I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. I should go now. Daddy? Is mommy okay? Uh, your mom's not in the best shape right now, but why don't you give her some space and give her a big hug when she comes out later? Hmm? You didn't make mommy angry, did you? I'm sorry, kid. I've got to be heading out now. But I'm counting on you to protect your mom, okay? <sighs> Matt, I need you to look into that scandal from eight years ago. I need to know exactly what happened. Dylan, let's go home. Dylan? Pumpkin, are you here? Hello, Dylan? Scarlet, I have Dylan. He will still with me until you help me seal the deal with Nathan Wright. How could you? You vicious, heartless monster. He's your grandson. Watch your mouth, my good daughter. Your son's safety is in your hands. If I were you, I'd start running. Wait, let me talk to him. Hello? Got it. Matt, I need to talk to Nathan. What's his location? Nathan, are you listening? Of course, Mom. What did I just say? You said I'm at that ripe age to marry and start a family. Exactly. Well, I know you're very busy, so I've picked out some nice girls for you. Nathan. And Miss Scarlett Cooper insists on seeing you. She's at the door right now. I'll be right back, Mom. Looks like we finally have a daughter-in-law. Ooh. Hey, I'm sorry to burst in like this, but I desperately need your help. Calm down. What's going on? My dad. He kidnapped Dylan. You're the only one who can help us. Okay. What are his terms? Um, just pick the Coopers as your business partners. That's all. I'm sorry, I wouldn't be asking if I didn't have to. And what's in it for me? What? Scarlett, you think that just because I helped you a few times, you think I'm a genie granting wishes. Let me remind you that even genies require payment. What are you willing to pay, Scarlet? Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Is this some kind of plan you and your father cooked up, huh? Using a child as a bargaining chip to gain my sympathy? What do you mean? I've seen too many of these dirty tricks before. If I could be fooled so easily, my company would have failed long ago. If Logan Cooper wished to work with me, he better make a deal impressive enough to persuade me. Otherwise, no deal. So this is how little you think of me. Thanks for nothing, asshole. I hope I never see you again. What's wrong? Um, nothing. Alfred, is there something you want to say to me right now? I'm concerned you'll regret it one day. Going in like that. Then maybe you'll misjudge the lovely Miss Cooper. Matt, I need your help. Logan, are you sure this is safe? Nathan Wright's very powerful. He could find the place easily. Don't worry. I've sent my best man. Plus, it's offshore. 
not easily discovered. Offshore? Could they have Dylan held on a yacht? Did you hear that? Relax, Logan. You've been on edge lately. The new combination lock won't let anyone in. I bet Nathan Wright isn't even with Scarlett. Otherwise, he would be here by now. That bitch is probably acting. I mean, what benefits does she even give him? Their relationship is not that simple. Maybe we can use it. What? His men are making a move already. He? Could it be Nathan? But he clearly rejected helping me. Sent the order to transfer this bastard's location now. Well, dear sis, what are you doing here? 